Gaming fans who have been waiting for a GPU and I know there's a lot of you out there Well, I think there's some good news on the horizon because there's been a message from an Ethereum developer And that message is that he's preparing the mining community for Ethereum's transition from the proof-of-work model to the proof-of-stake model that the Ethereum developers have been working hard at so what that's ultimately going to mean is that there's going to be a lot less or perhaps not even any uh, GPU mining for Ethereum in the future as early as the end of 2021 and that's going to increase the GPU supply because uh, GPU miners are not going to want GPUs anymore and also the prices of these GPUs are going to come down so let's talk about what that means for the gaming community and also the gaming industry as a whole now if you like this video make sure to click the like button also to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and we also have a discord server now so if you want to join a friendly gaming community make sure you uh, join our discord server and i'll leave a link in the description below so this message is from tim bako and he wrote in discord in a server i'm not exactly sure which one but the message has been passed around on the internet and I found it on Son of a Tech's Twitter feed. So let me read that message to you. And it says, what I've said many times is that if I was a miner, I would plan to break even at the latest by end of year 2021. I much prefer to be too conservative in these predictions than not, but it's absolutely not a guarantee for a merge date. If I was a miner, I'd also be following these channels closely and updating my estimates based on actual progress. Now, what he means is that currently Ethereum works on a proof of work model, which means that GPUs are used to mine blocks of Ethereum and that uses up a lot of electrical energy, which transitions into wasted heat energy. So the environmental issues are just one of the concerns that the developers have for this proof of work model. It's not the only issue, but it's one of them. And we'll get into the other reasons in just a second. But uh, Ethereum developers, they want to move Ethereum to the proof of stake model, which is also known as Ethereum 2.0. And in this model, you need to own a certain amount of ETH, which is your stake. And you need to own 32 ETH to become a validator. And then you're going to validate these transactions on the blockchain to earn your reward. So that's the way they're going to do it from now. And that's another reason why they're moving to this proof of stake model because you need to have this 32 ETH in the system which means that people are going to keep their ETH in and that's going to have a lot less uh, amount of people selling out of ETH which is going to keep that price of ETH up. So that's another reason why I think they're going to this proof of stake model. But um, essentially you need 32 ETH which is not chum change. So uh, going from uh, by today's exchange rate which is 3,000 US dollars to one ETH, uh, that's 100,000 US dollars that you need to become a validator. Now you can also join a mining pool though uh, the details of that aren't quite clear but it should be very similar to how it works uh, for now for GPU miners. So you could get involved if you want to um, join a validating pool uh, but we don't know all the details right now but essentially uh, you need that 32 ETH and that 32 ETH is going to give legitimacy or at least that's what they say on their website and they're going to give that's going to give legitimacy that you're going to be validating these blocks fairly and you can potentially lose that ETH as well if you try to cheat your system so that's how they keep people on the straight and narrow there so it's not going to be about GPU mining with lots and lots of graphics cards and lots of PC hardware anymore. It's going to be about validating these transactions and apparently that's going to take a lot less computational power. So uh, that's the way it's looking like it's going to go down. And so that's the mining side of it explained. Well, as I said in the intro, I think the prices of the GPUs are going to come down and I'm going to give you four reasons why that's going to be the case. And the first reason is that the GPU return on investment, otherwise known as the ROI, I think the GPU ROI is going to trend downwards uh, as we get closer to the end of the year 2021. 
And as Tim Bako said in his Discord message, he's already preparing GPU miners to break even by the end of the year. And I think even with that mindset uh, that it's going to end at the end of the year or even March or June next year, I think GPU miners are just going to buy less cards overall. But um, in terms of the GPU ROI, let's take a quick example anyway. Uh, one of the most popular cards, the RTX 3080, that has a market price of about $2,500. And so right now it earns about $10 a day in mining, even after the electricity costs in most countries. So uh, that's about 250 days before it breaks even. And that's about eight months. So that takes you to the end of the year. So pretty much that's kind of like how it's all working out at the moment with all of these cards, the 3080, 3070, even all of the AMD cards. So I think uh, these return on investment or prices are gonna come down for these GPUs. I think we might even get to a situation, although don't hold me uh, to this, that uh, we might get these GPUs at MSRPs by the end of the year. The second reason is that the new GPU demand is going to slow down and that kind of ties in with the first reason of the return on investment but ultimately this is talking about the supply chain and how that all works. So if you have miners that buy less cards then you have retailers that can't sell through their cards so previously they might have sold through their cards in three or four days. Now it's going to take them one or two months to sell through a batch of cards and they're going to go back to their distributor and ask for better pricing and then the distributor is going to go back to the AIB partners and manufacturers to ask for better pricing and so that all puts a downward pressure on these GPU prices. The third reason is that the used GPU supply market is going to increase. So you're going to have a lot of miners who are probably going to wind down their GPU mining and they're going to sell up a lot of their hardware. So they might sell their 1080 Ti's or their 20 series cards and that's going to help the general GPU supply out there on the market, both new and used. So there's going to be a lot of GPUs out there and I think uh, that's going to put a downward pressure on new GPU prices as well. The fourth and final reason is that other coins will be negatively impacted by Ethereum miners moving away from Ethereum to those other coins. So let's take a quick example. If you have an RTX 3080, it's mining Ethereum, it's making $10 a day right now. Now, if you move a whole bunch of these 3080s from Ethereum to another coin, let's say Ravencoin, uh, 3080 makes about $5 a day right now. And if you have a lot more 3080s mining Ravencoin, well now uh, you're not gonna be making that same amount of money because there's a lot more 3080s that you have to split that reward between. So it could very well be that um, you go from $5 a day to making $2 a day. So uh, then it doesn't become worth it to buy an RTX 3080. And so a lot of these GPU miners will probably not buy as many GPUs and that's gonna help GPU supply and keep the prices down. I'm sure there's many other possible scenarios. So let me know below in the comments how you think the whole thing is gonna play out. It could be that the price of Ethereum skyrockets to $10,000. And in that case, the return on investment might be just two or three months, which means that GPU mining is gonna last right up till the end of the year. So we don't know how it's going to all play out, but I've given you my reasons of why the prices will come down for these GPUs if uh, Ethereum moves to a proof of stake. All right, that's going to be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button also to subscribe to this channel and make sure to join our Discord channel if you want to join our friendly gaming community. And I will see you guys in the next video.